Yo, back with the Akai S950 and a quick little tech demo on how to edit your samples and assign them to various keys up and down the keyboard using Renoise. The S950's user interface is pretty quick to get around, but if you're working on more complex programs, Renoise has a great interface for editing samples and probably the best interface I've ever seen for assigning those samples to various key groups. Generally speaking, if you're working with the S950, you want to benefit from the beautiful input stage. So we're going to sample the sounds into the analog inputs. And we've got some synths here, the Roland SH-101, the Casio CZ-1, and the Yamaha SY-99. So let's record some of these synth sounds. So now the S950's RAM is full of sounds, we can eject the SD card and plug it into the card reader on the computer. And we can start Akai Util on the command line just by typing in Akai Util followed by the path to the image file of the S950 disk image. ls shows us the contents and then we can use cd to change directories or in this case cdi followed by the directory number and ls again shows us the contents and we can extract the entire volume just by typing get wav all and we'll end up with a directory full of wavs on our computer you can then take these wav files and drag them into renoise and that'll start a new renoise instrument with all of the wav files listed there Renoise automatically assigns these WAV files to consecutive keys. And if we click on the key groups button here, we can then see the assignments and we could select a whole range of sounds and for example, move them to a higher position on the keyboard, or we could take one sound and make it span more notes. Back in the waveform tab, uh, we can edit the start and end points of each sample and create loops. Uh, Renoise supports the bi-directional loop functionality which is loads of fun uh, and it's compatible with the S950's bi-directional looping. We can chop up these breakbeats uh, making duplicates of the recordings and changing their start points. Um, so we can make some space and do a duplicate and then move the duplicate into the new slot and then say chop it at the snare and we've got some jungle action ready to go. We can make room in, in the RAM by getting rid of the tail section of the first sample that's just got the kick component. And we can make some space here. Uh, and we'll take this snare and we'll extend the range of it up so that we can play the snare at different pitches up and down the keyboard. And if we select one of the synth sounds here, we can work on the loop points. The waveform tab lets us zoom in on the wave and choose the type of looping we want. There's also a feature for snapping to zero points, which is pretty handy. So now when we move the start and end markers for the loop, they'll lock into position at points where the wave crosses zero, uh, helping us create more seamless loops. One thing to remember is a setting that needs to be set for when we export these files later on. Uh, we meet, need to make sure that the file type is set to WAV for the SFZ export option. Another thing to note is that C3 in the real world is C5 in Renoise, so we need to drag our sounds up two octaves to match. And one last thing, make sure that all the samples have unique names and don't contain any special characters. Once you're ready to export, we need to be in the Key Zones tab and you just choose Export Multi Sample. This leaves us with a folder full of samples and an SFZ file. This SFZ file can be loaded into A Wave and A Wave now saves as Akai S950 files. So it's just a matter of going Save and selecting S950 as the file type. 
huge shout out to Marcus from FMJ Software, who's been working tirelessly to perfect this ACIS 950 file format saving. Um, love your work, Marcus. Everyone buy a copy of A-Wave. And lastly, Akai Util again to write these files to the SD card. And if you've run A-Wave from the directory containing all of your files, you just need to use the command put and then asterisk, and that will send all of the files to the card. I'm going out of my head. I'm going, I'm going, I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm going.